Oh, that's perfect. Look, at, here he comes. He's come running out. Check it out. He ate the cork. <laughs> Don't eat the cork. Well, hey guys, this is it. We're at the uh, one year anniversary of when I stocked the bass into this pond. So, get to see how big they've grown in one year. They got plenty of food to eat. There's tons of little year old bluegill just running around all over the place and tons of gnats apparently. So we're going to go out here and see how big they gotten since December and since I stocked them this time last year when they started out as little two inch fingerlings. I'm very happy the way the pond's coming along. The water's gotten really high while the rain we've been getting. We've been getting a lot of rain uh, up here in North Florida. And today, like last time, we're going to make C.C. Corey very happy. Or I should say, make him proud. Because we're using shiners today. So, as the video is going and you hear this noise in the background, that's just my little bubbler running back here. So, ignore that. But, I already seen a couple of them chasing a bait up along the bank. So, let's get this kayak out there and see if we can get a hook in a couple. I'm going to be uh, weighing, measuring them, and also uh, fin clipping them so I can mark the stalkers uh, apart from their offspring. The bass that have spawned that they've had this year, their offspring are already like four to five inches long, so they're growing real quick. And I think they were hatched around March. So I'm curious to see how big they're gonna be in December, uh, at their six month mark, if they're growing as quick as their parents. But uh, let's get out there, let's catch some fish, let's get them marked and logged in so I can put them in my system on the computer. All right, it's like last time I said we we're going to be using some shiners. I just got a small little one -aught octopus hook, and I got the barb smashed down. I got my shiners and my little redneck bait well. That way, I got to keep reaching back to grab any. I'm just coming underneath the chin and out the nose like that. I got a feeling these guys won't last long. And that's got a little cork on it. For fishing up shallow. No weight. We're just gonna toss this guy close to the bank. I wanted it closer than that, but we'll see what happens. Oh God, the, the bass ate the cork. I don't know if you guys saw that. God almighty. I'm hoping he followed the shiner. Now he's got it. There you go, take me out here in deep water, man. That was pretty cool. There he is. Not a bad one. He's hooked just about perfect. Look at that. Still nice and healthy. He hasn't been marked yet. Do all our stuff, we're going to win our board. Now they're all, before they were about 10 to 12 inches. And this one is 13 and a quarter. So 13 and a quarter inches for this guy. And the current pond record right now stands at 1.6. One pounds, six ounces. So we'll see where this guy's at. Of course, scale worked fine last night. I'm not gonna keep him out of the water too long. But bass number one, 13 and a quarter inches. And we're gonna fin clip him using just a 
pair of hole punchers. It doesn't hurt them. Just do it right here in the pelvic fin. Now that hole is going to be harder to heal than if you were just to put a cut in there. And the only thing it's going to do is when he slams on the brakes, he's going to pull a little bit to the right. Thank you, boss. And there he goes. They say these bass, if you do everything right and they got a good habitat, they can grow to be, look at that, there's another one. They can grow to be two pounds in one year. So that's what we're looking for is that magic two pounder. These bass were hanging out in front of the feeder because the bluegill are about to be here and they want a free meal. And I'm about to be hanging out in front of the feeder because these bass are pulling me that way. Come here, man. There you go. Another pretty one. This one is 12 and 3 quarter inches. Give him a thin clip. Thank you, sir. Point eight three pounds. So not even a pound yet. But he's still got a belly on him, so he's out here feeding. That's good. Later, buddy. Oh, here we go. Coming at me. <laughs> he don't know where to go yet. Oh, now he does. Oh, man, he came at me so I couldn't get the hook set in time. Come here, man. Pliers out on this dude. There we go. Now, since he swallowed it, he's already marked. I'm not losing this rod again. And since he's already marked, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put him back. I don't want nothing bad to happen to him. Oh, that's perfect. Look, at, here he comes. He's come running out. Check it out. You eat the cork. <laughs> Don't eat the cork. Apparently top water would have been uh, a great choice today. Look, there's, there, there's another one chasing the cork. Look at them, they're hitting the cork, man. There's a school of them. If I had treble hooks. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> God, these fish fight. This is a nice one. Of course, he had to swallow it. Oh, got it. I'm just going to mark him real quick and get him back. He's hole punched. One point one six pounds. Yeah, I know there's bigger fish than that in here so I'm trying to be quick and he is 13 inches on the dot all right oh he's already ready to go he's fighting me there's more bass here this is awesome they were all attacking the cork that one grabbed the cork I got him that time I bet you he didn't swallow the hook. Oh, man, yes they did. God almighty. This dude here is skinny. He ain't looking too good. I don't know what's wrong with him, man. That's almost a cull. He's so skinny. Compared to them other ones.
give him a parting gift. Here you go, buddy. We can't even swallow that shiner down. Let's help him out. Like that. That was perfect. Still hanging out here by this feeder. That's a nice one. A lot better than that last one. Ooh, that. Now we went from them swallowing it being barely hooked. Here's a little tip for you. Don't grab the line. So if you can see that, you're gonna pop that, no problem. We're actually gonna do some work with this one. Lay him on the board, and he is 13 and a half inches. He hasn't been marked yet. So we're gonna do our little fin clip. Marking. He weighs one point. Stop. One point two one. We'll go with that. I feel they're hanging up shallow. I know there's some in here bigger than that. I think they're out deep on the ledges, especially since it's summertime. And the shiner's still kicking. All right. That's another one. There it is. Not a big one. He didn't swallow it though. Definitely got some runts in the mix. It's really good to fin clip these because if they don't perform, then they need to get cold. Cold as in move somewhere else or eaten. Yeah, he's it. 10 inches. Let's see how many ounces he weighs. If he manages to stop flopping around. Point four one. Came in at me. There you go, pull me backwards. Of course, another one that. to swallow things measurement and everything on him he is 12 and a half yeah yeah between let's just say call it 12 and a quarter 12 and a quarter anyways 0.94 Definitely not getting the healthy specimens today. There we go. If you guys see it, they just got a small hole inside their fin, and that's how I know this is one I've caught. And he's the original stalker. Ooh, 
saw that, that was so cool. He came out there and followed it. Nice one. He didn't swallow it. There we go. That was so cool. And you have been caught before, sir. You have a fin clip. But I guarantee you have not been measured and weighed. Nice belly. That's, a, that's what I want to see is healthy ones. 13 and a quarter. And he weighs 1.19 or 1.19 pounds. All right. Bye, buddy. Oh, that's not, that's not the shiner. See how big this guy is. So they all fight. He's not that big, but he's fat. He's a healthy one. And there's a chance to tag one. Why can't they all be hooked? Hooked as good as you, huh? You can just open your mouth and quit fighting for just a minute. All I want to do, just get a look at you. You're going back. There we go. Now see how fat that one is? It's crazy. You got one that's skinny as a rail. I had a And he's short, 11 and three quarter on this guy, 11 and three quarter inches. Fin clip. For this one, to be as fat as he is, he's only 0.88. Later guy. Well guys, I guess it wasn't recording, but this is more the size we're after. You see how big his belly is, or her belly, whichever. So this would be a real good one to get some info on. And a tag, of course. So 13 and a half inches. Fin clip on her. One point two three. Thank you, ma'am. Here you go, big girl. Oh, dang it, I'm missing with the paddle on a leg swallow it. He's a good one though. Thirteen inches. One point twelve. There you go, buddy. You got a free shiner. There we go. Well, that's it, guys. I'm all out of shiners, but we got us a bunch of data. Uh, the heaviest weight, total weight of eight bass is 8.68 pounds. So almost just a pound average, pretty much. 
Well, that's it, guys. That's the bass one year later. Now I got plenty of uh, data to input in my little program I got. And uh, what did I learn from this little expedition? Well, bass lose a whole bunch of weight after pre-spawn, and it takes them a while to get it put back on. They definitely get bigger in the fall and winter months, you know, leading up to spawn. So I'm looking forward to seeing how big they're going to be at a year and a half years old when I come back out here in December and see how big they are. Because right now they're pretty small. We're looking at roughly like a one pound average when they should be at two pounds. So I'm hoping they will be at two pounds when the water starts cooling down and they're not burning up. The metabolism's not going as fast and not burning up as much food. So be sure to join us next time. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Leave me a thumbs up because it helps me out. And remember, we do more than this more. We'll see you out there on the water. Dismore Outdoors is proudly sponsored by Bruiser Bait, fish the best. Vexen Rods, strike first with Vexen. And Real Gear, make fishing your style.